Hi, my name's Dino, and joining me today is Mark Inara, and we're going to talk about connected healthcare and the benefits and challenges of medical device disruption. Gentlemen, uh, Gartner's predicting by 2020 that IoT devices are going to outnumber traditional devices like uh, servers, the laptops, et cetera, by three times. How do you think this is going to impact hospitals and, and care technologies going forward? The innovation and the value for medical devices has become so great and they've become so critical to the care continuum and delivering care that now disruption to that can be catastrophic to a hospital, to, a, to uh, being able to deliver that care to those patients. And so uh, the protection of that equipment, the protection of those devices just becomes more and more essential. Gentlemen, uh, one thing that we've been seeing is it's harder and harder to find security professionals in, in the industry, in particular in the healthcare industry. Uh, I was wondering if you could expand on how those challenges might affect uh, patient outcome or the health facilities themselves. Sure. Um, you know, traditionally, healthcare has been on the lower end of the spending spectrum when it comes to IT security, and so you know, I think that translates down to into staffing, uh, making it a really challenging space for healthcare to to staff the right people. Um, it's a highly competitive uh, market out there um, to find the right type of talent, and then furthermore, when you take IoT and the complexity of connected medical devices, that's a specialty that's even more difficult to find, and so. Um, you know, it really uh, brings a focus on um, being able to understand your risk, knowing what those most critical assets are, and focusing those scarce resources on them. And then, you know, just like any industry, uh, trying to apply automation as much as possible. You know, how can you understand those most critical assets and make sure that you're identifying and responding to the signals that are the most important ones, so instead of, you know, going after uh, less critical incidents. So it's really that ability to identify uh, and then automate and then respond to that most uh, most critical. So you're really utilizing um, those scarce resources in the most effective way. Switching gears a little bit specifically to hospitals, what we've been seeing is an increase in mergers and acquisitions, consolidation of uh, hospital organizations coming together, and that probably creates a few challenges, especially around IoT and IoT devices. Could you elaborate a little bit more on those on this topic? Sure. You know, I think there's obviously positives to uh, M and A and consolidation. Right, you're getting organizations with more scale now, mm -hmm. um, which gets to some of the earlier things we talked about about scarcity of resources. But on the on the disruptive side, um, you know, you combine two organizations and now you have a new weakest link, right? And, and so you have to um, really work on how do you manage and merge the people, the processes, and the technology. And it really all comes back to, uh, again, visibility of your assets. So how do you uh, quickly, that target organization, that organization you're rolling in, uh, how do you rapidly understand uh, what you have from a total asset uh, portfolio and then come up with those strategies to manage and, and defend and respond to, uh, to threats against those assets. Taking it one step further, I think consumers are becoming much more savvy if they recognize that this is an issue mm -hmm. and if you hospital system are in the news because you've compromised uh, patient data, the consumer has choice. You know, the, uh, the marketing within the healthcare environment has become quite competitive mm -hmm. and organizations that have found ways to be really uber secure mm -hmm. are the ones that will win the business of people who are making choice today. So it's very important as well from your outwardly facing perspective on how you deal with these issues. How do these hospitals not be the next headline? They have to understand the technology they have, especially those connected medical devices. They have to have an inventory of them. They have to be able to monitor and manage them and then they have to be able to respond to incidents because no matter uh, it's really shifted. I mean, you, you want to be able to protect your assets, but especially in this space, pure protection of those assets is very complicated. Um, and so it really comes down to identifying incidents and responding. Mm -hmm. And I think those organizations that respond professionally, openly, and rapidly mm -hmm. are the ones that win. Mm -hmm. Because people understand incidents are going to happen, but if you, uh, if you have the processes and, and you're, you're solid in how you respond to those incidents, I think those organizations tend to be seen more favorably mm -hmm. and, and uh, their reputation will hold.